this is Alexis and if you've seen by the intro of the video this is going to be my Halloween well it's going to be late by the time I um, edit this video it's probably be November 1st or 2nd if I'm good and um, edit it like soon as I'm done with this but I want to go ahead and just finish this video just to finish it to completion and so I'm going to go ahead and do it now so this is my take on um well it's not my take on it's just um basically Luna from the Sailor Moon her human form and so I'm really um, pleased with how it came together. It came together really good. Um, I'm not an expert sewer or a cosplayer. I just um, just have just taken on sewing like seriously in the last year. So my, mainly I'm self-taught. And so um, I was, despite all that, I was very happy with how it came out. And so um, I'll just show you real quick. Like in the video, I'm just have pictures and videos of me like construction and dress and all that good stuff. And so. Um, I won't go too into it, but I did use this simplicity um, pattern for the bodice, and I kind of modified it and made it more low cut in the front and in the back. And then um, I'll go through the materials I used real quick, and then we'll go through into the video. Um, for the lining of the bodice, I just used this regular um, cheap yellow cotton um, just for the lining. And then I went in with this for the main body of the dress. It is this um, yellow um, satin. And this was um, really relatively cheap too. I think it was like four dollars from Hobby Lobby. And then um, for the, the asymmetrical skirt underneath, it is um, this chiffon from Joann's, and it's very expensive. You know, Joann's already um, inflated. I believe it was like twelve dollars a yard. And then I did buy this yellow like um, silk chiffon. I don't know what I was thinking. I thought I could try to incorporate it some way, but I didn't end up using it. So I'll just have it for another um, project later. But all in all, I'm very pleased with this project. And if you would like to see how I did it and what's the end results, please keep watching. Thanks. Okay, starting out, um, here is um, right here. I just took a simplicity pattern for the bodice and I modified it a bit to make it more scoop neck in the front and more low cut in the back. And so I just used plain white cotton for my mock up. And I, um, after I had cut all the pieces out, I put it on my dress form to see how all the pieces matched up and see how it fit. And I was pretty happy. The only thing that I did go and change was making it a little bit more low cut in the front and in the back. And so after I was happy with all that, I go ahead and cut out two more um, sets of pattern pieces. One on yellow plain cotton and um, the other on yellow satin. And I'm sorry about the <laughs> timing of the voiceover. I'm trying to make it work. But um, I didn't think to use interfacing. So I just used the white mock-up as an added layer. So it wouldn't be so flimsy. And I just sewed the two cotton layers um, together. Just um, a regular straight stitch. And then I took the yellow um, cotton and the uh, yellow satin. And I sewed those two right side facing each other. And I turned it right side out. And uh, this is what I ended up with. I was pretty happy with the end result. The fit was really nice. And I did um, top stitch the top so it wouldn't be so bulky and like moving around. And I was happy with that. And then I was especially happy with how the back ended up um, where I placed my zipper. That was like the neatest like um, back seam. Or that's what you call it that I, uh, I've done before. And I did add the straps. Okay, this is the skirt. And it's essentially just a square. And uh, right here... In the center, I cut it so I can attach the zipper to the um, and then right here is the bodice, and I was attaching the zipper to it. And I kind of um, had to maneuver a little bit because the bodice and the actual skirt wasn't matching up evenly, but ended up the end result was okay. Okay, <laughs> all right, so this is the dress so far. Um, I have like the main piece, like main body of the dress already done. And so with this, I just took, um, I kind of, I guess, modified a simplicity um, pattern for the bodice. I kind of tried to make it more scoop neck since Luna's um, top is pretty scoop neck. It's pretty low cut. And um, it's not as scoop neck as hers. But I'm okay with that because I don't have anime breasts. So mine's are not, you know, mine don't sit up quite as high as hers or... <laughs> Oh, you know what I mean. So I didn't want my whole chest to be out anyway. And I do plan on playing, wearing like a scrapless bra or I might still consider um, sewing in cups and, and inside. But 
at the moment i'm happy with this i do i finished the straps too i have to go in and like clean them up too and like get rid of all this because i didn't want to cut it off quite yet without knowing the fit but the fit's pretty good i'm pretty i'm um, happy with the fit the skirt it's just a square skirt um i'm kind of contemplating do i want to rip the seams and kind of do it over it's not the neatest it'll do but i don't know i guess i'm just gonna keep going and see how how i feel overall i'm pretty happy to, with the construction of the whole thing i'm really happy about the zipper it's like the neatest zipper i've ever done <laughs> and so um now i'm gonna work on the asymmetrical dress that goes underneath of it like that high low kind of black part and that's gonna be made of some black chiffon and then i'm also gonna be working on a petticoat for it and so those are the two things that i'm planning on doing today so okay i'll give you guys an update later all right all right this is where i began um working on the asymmetrical high low underskirt and i was trying to use the with wendy method um she's on youtube and somehow i kind of messed up um, um i was trying to be good i had my construction notes out and everything but somehow some way i fudged up on this part and i ended up with two separate pattern um panels that weren't high low at all and i just was like what it's supposed to be like one skirt but i ended up with this and so i went in to try to save the fabric because this was 12 dollar yard fabric i did not want to have to buy anything by anymore i used the yumi king method and the only difference between hers and mine is that she started off with a circle skirt and mine's had extra seams because you know i had two separate panels but in the end i was able to save it and i just went um sewed it together and then right at the side seams i lined them up and i cut in a wavy kind of pattern to give the high low kind of effect and i was able to save it and the end result was good and so I was happy because I really didn't want to buy any more fabric. So it was all good. Okay, so this is the skirt after I've cut the section out to make it high low and I've hemmed everything. And everything was pretty good. The only thing is I was going to make the skirt um, with an elastic waistband so I can wear it independent of the um, actual dress. But I didn't end up not having enough room. So I just attached it um, to the waist of the skirt. And essentially the dress is done. I do have to go in and add the tool pom-poms. But everything is finished and I'm glad I finished this um, project to completion. It was really important to me. And so here's me with Erin dress and forgive the bad camera work. My sister is not a videographer. <laughs> and so, yeah, if you watch this video to the end, thanks. And I really appreciate it. And hope soon I can um, start doing more projects and get better at the whole process. But yeah, have a happy belated Halloween. And thanks for watching.